What's happening guys? You're here with Nate. This is Crossbeats Production and thank you for tuning into the channel. I want to show you guys a, I guess like a show and tell my first impressions of this preamp. I've just got this today. Um, I put it into my little workhorse, workhorse uh, series cube desktop thing. And um, <laughs> man, I don't know what's going on with me. I actually went to bed late because I was mixing a track uh, till about 3 a.m. last night. So I'm kind of a bit tired, but anyway. Um, I just recently got this and I want to add it to my arsenal of analog gear that I've got, which you can see on the screen. I've got a Dione, which is the Wes Audio Dione 500 series compressor. It's like an SSL. Um, this is a Neve, so Rupert Neve Designs preamp. It's the 511 series. Um, there's two different preamps that they make, but I'll just go over this one for now because uh, I don't have the other one to compare it against, but the other one does have a compressor on it and um, a few other different features. But this one particularly is just a preamp with a high pass filter and uh, the function that they call silk. Uh, so if you can see on the screen now, um, I'll hit the button right here and that adds silk to the, uh, the signal. So what they call silk is really just harmonic distortion. Um, it's a pleasing harmonic distortion. It can be used. I'll just go full. That's full silk there, by the way. Um, and it's, it's kind of like a, a pleasing harmonic distortion and it adds character to your signal. Um, so you can have like a, I guess if you don't want to have silk, if you want to have more of a clean signal, you can have that. I'll just leave it on. Um, but you can have silk there as well to add additional harmonics to your signal. Um, so the reason why I bought this preamp primarily was because I have this Rode Procaster microphone and I have other microphones as well, but this Rode Procaster requires a lot of uh, gain to run it because it's a dynamic microphone. Um, dynamic microphones don't use phantom power. Uh, well, at least this one doesn't and uh, none that I know of do, but if there are, correct me anyway. Uh, but anyway, this is a dynamic microphone, so it can take a lot of, um, I guess, amplitude or signal so it requires a lot of gain to run the microphone. Um, the reason why I bought this preamp though is because I, one, I like preamps and I'm kind of um, wanting to get more into the analog realm of things, not just be in the door uh, or in the audio workstation digital, digital sense, uh, but I wanna have more analog gear to run my stuff through. So I primarily bought this preamp so I could use it for vocals, um, track things through it, and also um, use it as an additional thing, which you can use it as a line input. So that's kind of why I like this preamp because you can use it for two different types of things. So you can run your, you know, your kicks, your snares, whatever you want through this, your vocals, and just add that kind of analog flavor to your stuff. And also you can use it as a preamp to run microphones like this one. So um, as you can hear on this uh, audio example, I'll just disengage the high pass filter and I'll just move that all the way to the bottom so you can kind of you know get an idea of what it does. So I'll engage it again, and um, I'll just turn this all the way from, it goes all the way down to uh, 20 to 250. So we'll turn it all the way up. So it's pretty much removing the low end uh, rumble out of the, the voice there. And it allows you to kind of just get rid of the, I guess the plosives out of um, any kind of spoken word or if you're singing, it allows you to do that as well. Um, but that's kind of a handy thing. It's a, a 6 dB slope, uh, 6 dB per octave slope. So it's a very gentle kind of slope, but it does allow you uh, a very natural sounding analog kind of removing of the low end frequencies. So if you have, um, you know, you want to use it for mixing, you can. Uh, that's kind of why I got this. And I'm going to show you guys later on an example of, um, you know, stuff run through this versus, versus it not. Uh, so you can kind of compare what it sounds like. But I just wanted to give you guys my um, show and tell first off, my first impressions of this preamp and just talk about it from there. Um, so this this dial here, it's the, um, the gain dial, which is basically the pre. Um, so it allows you to crank it up to 66, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, 60... Yeah, 66, so it goes in, in, in increments um, and steps, it's a step dial, so it's uh, pretty accurate for recall if you want to know where you're at. Um, and then this this dial up here allows you to attenuate or boost by another 6 dB. 6 dB. Um, so kind of, you can obviously, you can crank it up here, which you'll hear my voice get a little bit louder. Um, or I can crank this um, really loud here and you can kind of hear, now I don't have to talk uh, so loud but it allows you to get a lot of gain um, out of out of a microphone that otherwise wouldn't have a lot. Uh, so anyway, this is kind of why I got this preamp. And secondly, I want to use it as an analog, um, you know, another thing in my analog chain. 
so I can run things through it. Um, but anyway, I want to give you guys just a quick show and tell. Hopefully, uh, this is of some benefit to you. Um, you know, you can kind of hear what this sounds like. You're listening to my voice go through it right now. I can't bypass it because I'd have to unplug and all that stuff. Um, but I will do other videos on this so you can get a good idea of what it does. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, remember to like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit me in the comments below if, you, if you've got this or if you're looking at Neve preamps or if you're looking at other preamps in general, just what your favorite preamp is. Um, it's always good to start conversation like that. But I will catch you on the next video and peace.